Hey everybody. So tonight I am making a dish um, that's going to be super simple and it comes out of our brand new fall season's best, fall and winter season's best. And what I love about this one is they made it all budget friendly. Um, so there's over 15 recipes in here that are budget friendly. And tonight we are making the taco chili mac. I'm so excited about this, okay? And it's going to feature a couple of our, actually a few of our um, new fall products. So um, we have a brand new, um, we have a brand new seasoning and it is called Everything Taco. And it is so, so yummy. You'll wanna put this on popcorn, um, definitely in your taco things, um, anything that you want, um, really and truly. You can use this for anything. Um, but we're gonna use this tonight. Um, this is a great meal. It's kind of like a take on um, Hamburger Helper. Um, but what I like about it is you get to control the ingredients and there's little to no processed food, which is what I try for my family to stay away from. So very exciting and we're gonna be using the Everything Taco seasoning with that. Um, a couple of tools that we'll be using is our brand new five quart skillet. Look at this thing. It is such a great size. Um, it's got such a deep, lip to it um, and it's a beautiful color. This is our brand new Brilliance cookware, okay? Um, it is such great, great quality at a more affordable price, um, which I absolutely love and you'll have, you'll see how wonderful it cooks. Um, it's non-stick coating um, and it's also um, oven safe, so it's great. And then we've got the mix and chop spatula. I love this, which I was a huge fan of the mix and chop anyway. But what I love about this is I can chop up my meat just like I always could with the mix and chop, but then it allows me to kind of use this as a spoon as well. So after I chop up my meat, I'm not um, then having to grab another utensil to use. So I can use this as a spoon. And it also has these drain holes here. So if you were anything uh, soupy, you know, you could drain it. Um, so this has quickly become one of my go-tos, um, must-have products in my kitchen. So we're gonna get started, okay? So I've got all of this set aside and we're just gonna chop up an onion and a bell pepper. This meal is super simple to make. It comes together in less than 30 minutes and um, it is really good. I made it the other night and it is such a crowd pleaser. My kids loved it. Um, I think one even took it to school. So give this just kind of a rough chop. You don't even have to really, since it's gonna be sauteed up, you don't even have to make it, you know, cook it It doesn't have to be perfect, just a rough chop is great. And then I'm gonna take my bell pepper and just give this a rough dice as well. Okay, so now that I have cut up my onions and bell peppers, I am now going to just saute them up real quick in this pot, okay? So here are our onions and bell peppers. And I'm gonna salt and pepper them. Them saute up for a bit. Okay, so to our sauteed onions and peppers, I'm going to add in some ground beef. Now, of course, you can absolutely use. Um, oh, good grief! Why is this not coming up? You can absolutely use um, 
ground turkey, um, anything like that, ground chicken, but we just like ground beef and it's very lean. So that's what we're using. So we're just gonna let this brown in with the onions and peppers. Okay, so the beef is browning up really nice, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add in this everything taco seasoning. Um, it says about a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Maybe do a little more. Cause it's so good. So I'll just move this around to incorporate it. Okay, and into this mixture, I'm gonna add in some drained and rinsed black beans. I'm gonna add a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, and I wanna show you um, me opening this can, because I get a lot of questions about the can opener. And so it's super simple. You take the can opener. Okay. You set it down and you twist, okay? So it's it's stuck on there. And then you just turn it uh, clockwise. And then you can feel whenever it's all the way around. So you just turn it back counterclockwise to um, open it up. And then it just, you take this little beak to remove the lid. What I love is it cuts beneath the metal. And so there is no raw edge here. Um, and I don't have to worry about this getting in the food because this never touches the food. Okay, so we're gonna add in our tomato sauce. I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of beef broth. And then, I'm gonna add in a splash of milk. It says about a tablespoon, so. Oh, I'm sorry, no it doesn't, it says a cup. <laughs> so, a cup of milk. Now we're just gonna let this come to a simmer. This smells so good, guys. And as that's coming to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our pasta. Now, of course, you can use whatever kind of pasta you want. I'm sticking with traditional, like, look in the hamburger helper. Um, so I'm using elbow pasta, elbow macaroni. Let me open this real quick here. Open this. Let me open it. All right. And then I'm gonna add in half, eight ounces or half this box. Oh. It's part of the... Okay. And now I'm just gonna simmer this for 10 minutes until the pasta gets nice and cooked. Okay guys, so while that's cooking on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the topping, okay? So I've got a block of cheese that I have cut into thirds, and the other one is down in there. And I'm just going to shred these up real quick. Okay, so now I've got my cheese shredded. I've got a bag of uh, nacho cheese Doritos 
You can absolutely, as a matter of fact, this calls for just regular tortilla chips, um, but nacho cheese Doritos, absolutely. That's what I'm going with. So I put them in this bag and I'm just gonna crunch them up. also use tortillas and like lay across if you'd like. So I've got my nacho cheese Doritos and then I'm going to add in about a cup or so of the cheese. Okay and just get that nice and all spread out in there. And then I'm also going to add in a couple of uh, teaspoons of the everything taco. This is so good. Okay, now I'm gonna turn that up and then just toss it around. Get that incorporated. Okay, and then that's going to just be our topping. And now let me check on the noodles. Okay, our pasta is ready. And so I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm also sneaking in a fourth new product. It's one of these, and I'm not quite sure of the name of them, but it's like a silicone um, pot, uh, pot pad. I'm not quite sure what it's called, I'm sorry. But it's wonderful, okay? I use this thing, as a matter of fact, I've got another one in here because it's wonderful for stock pots if you're gonna take it over, whatever. This handle right here is very hot and you will see as we get this in and out of the oven, um, it's perfect, it slides right on and then I can pick it up, wonderful. Okay, so now our taco chili mac is finished and so I'm gonna take the remainder of this cheese and I'm just gonna add it in here. take a little bit save it for the top and then I'm just going to incorporate that oh cheesy goodness right there wow how yummy okay and now I'm going to take our chip mixture and I am just going to chip and cheese and um, everything taco. And I am just gonna sprinkle this all over the top. to 400 degrees okay and we're just gonna put it in there until just six to eight minutes until the cheese is nice and melted and um, actually I'm gonna take the rest of this cheese and just why not go ahead and add it to the very top okay now open this I love that this is um, oven safe, it doesn't have anything on it preventing. And so we're just gonna slide that in, like I said, just six to eight minutes. Okay, our six minutes is up. Oh guys, this looks and smells amazing. Look at that, yum. Okay, and doesn't this look amazing? Now, I have taken a little mixture here of sour cream and milk, and um, and I added some more of that everything taco seasoning, and I'm just gonna drizzle this down on top. And if you wanted, you could take like some cilantro, 
and add to the top for a garnish. But guys, that is about it. And let me plate it up real quick so you can see what this looks like. Use my fancy paper plate. Actually, I want a different thing for that. Okay, guys. Ooh, it's so crunchy on the top with those chips, but nice and gooey in the middle there. Look how yummy. Guys, this is a, so, a super easy, super quick um, weeknight meal that you can put together really easily, and I promise you, your family is going to thank you.